Today, I will demonstrate how to use Launch SyncCard 2 for testing car. Okay, first of all, turn on the ignition. Plug the SyncCard 2 adapter into the car. Find the OBD port of the car. Generally, the OBD diagnostic port is under the driver's seat. For some cars, it is in the central control position. If you can't find it, please refer to the car's user manual. We have plugged the connector. Open the L that is already installed. Let's have an overview of its functions first. First one is all make all system diagnostic. That means it can access to all control modules to scan and diagnose, including read for codes, clear for codes, read data streams, etc. The second one is maintenance functions. There are 15 kinds in total hand lamp matching, for example, battery matching, ABS bleeding, and EPB electronic parking brake reset, instance replacement of brake pads, sensors, steering angle reset, and EMO. There are 15 special functions in total. The third one is OBD diagnostic functions. It is used to diagnose vehicles with standard OBD2 protocol after 1996. It can read the fault code related with the emissions. It can read the fault codes of the gearbox for a small number of modules. The next one is the manual is for turning on the flashlight of the mobile phone. When the OBD port of some car is located in the innermost position of the driver's seat or when you are in the dark environment. And the next one is 100 km acceleration test. Now choose the first one manual to perform or make all system diagnosis. We are scanning the VI number. Waiting. Now we read out the VI number. For some models, it won't automatically read the VI number. Then please manually read it out. If it failed, it will pop out a window. Please input the VN number manually. Now we have the car info. We are connecting SyncCard 2 to a 2014 Honda Accord. If you buy SyncCard 2 now, you will have some free software. Including 3 VN numbers and 2 maintenance functions, ABS and SAS. Tap OK and select System Selection. What we connect is the Honda Accord. There are dozens of control modules. Choose the engine system. It reads out the VI number, engine ID, and other information. Click OK. After entering the engine system, you will enjoy these functions. Read for code, clear for code, read the string and read freeze frame. Now read the string first. Choose manual select. I select some of the options for example, just click OK. Now we read out data stream. For the data stream which follows with a tree diagram, you can click on it for its waveform. Select one to have a look. Select combine it will allow you to choose multiple options. You can only select four options at a time. Now exit. Click report to generate the diagnostic report. This is the diagnostic result.
Now read for code. Finish. Click report and you can generate the diagnosis report. This is the diagonal result of the four code. That's all. Thin car is suitable for the enthusiasts of auto repair. It is a good diagnostic tool for DIY 